A few weeks ago, I got access to ChatGPT's agent mode, and this thing is wild. I mean it. You know how a few weeks ago I actually said that MemCP is probably coming for automation jobs? This time AI is coming for consultants. Painfully, very, very slowly. <laughs> in this video, we're going to take a look at how it performs with some Airtable tasks. And right in the end, I'm going to give you some of my thoughts, some key takeaways that I've come up with after testing it extensively. So stick around and let's go. I'm just going to start with agent mode and I'm just going to ask it, hey chats, can you please log into my Airtable account and create a new custom CRM database for me from scratch? And now we wait. Part of this video, we're going to speed up. One of the key things about this whole experience is that it takes forever. I would say if you have a lot of time, this is useful. And especially if you don't know how to use Airtable or the system that you're basically trying to use. And this was useful for me for in a couple of cases. As you can see, it's now setting up, setting up a desktop, almost like a virtual machine kind of thing. I'm going to speed up this video until we see something else. Now it has actually logged in. And as you can see, it's asking me to specify which workspace it wants me to use. Let me just take over. And this is one of those cool things. I can take over and I can choose which workspace I wanted to use pinch controlling. It's thinking, it's doing a bunch of different things. Do you see now it's renaming the database to like CRM database or something like that. And then we're gonna speed up some of this stuff. And you see now, it's actually performing some interesting stuff. It's actually started to uh, create tables for us. Like now it's creating a table called contacts. Let's see what it comes up with. So now it's doing something really good. It's changing the name uh, column to full name. I wonder if it's gonna use a formula. As you can see, it's kind of like double clicking it. Okay typed it in. No, it didn't use a formula like concatenating first name, last name as we usually do. No it's to email. Okay. It's going to start creating some fields and later on, we're going to give it some extra missions, for instance, to create a formula for us. Maybe turn full name into like a concat of the first name and last name. Another thing here, it tried to choose the dropdown for phone, but it didn't scroll enough and it chose user and now it has chosen user again. Typically what will happen in this case, it's going gonna, it's gonna to try and click it again. Yeah, it will type it in and then it will choose the only option. It has kind of these like glitches in a way where it doesn't scroll enough, but it tries again, which is good. So it doesn't give up, but in between all of these attempts, boy, oh boy, does it take forever? Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes-ish. The good news is that it managed to log into my account. Yes, I had to intervene a bunch of times. It managed to create a custom database. It added statuses. However, it didn't clean up after itself, but it also added a new uh, table called companies. So it's good, but it's been 25 minutes for something that would really take like a minute. Let's give it an, another mission. I want to see if it can via a new chat. I'm not going to continue this chat. I'm just going to create a brand new chat and we're just going to go agent mode again. And we're going to give it a very specific URL. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a first name. So single line, first name and last name. And we're going to put some dummy data in. So John Doe john at example.com and what we're gonna do we're gonna take this url hey chats i need help with creating a simple formula that concatenates the first and last name and email of a contact in my Airtable database here is the link. The time is 4.47. It's going to set up its desktop. Let's see how long this takes. Hopefully it won't take forever. So now it's asking me something. Basically, it's kind of like asking me to do it. I don't want to do it. I want to force it to do it itself. But it's nice because it's kind of like thoughtful, right? It's going to stop 
before clicking save so that you can confirm the change. I think uh, OpenAI just wants us to be here on the page and watching it work. Actually, please use the full name field instead of creating a new field. It's been, what, about five minutes for a very simple formula that honestly anybody with a little bit of Airtable experience should be able to set up. The mere fact that it's doing it is still insanely cool, I think. And this is its first version. Finally, after exactly 10 minutes, we've finished creating a simple concat formula. And if I open up my Airtable database, here we go. It's there. It's cool, but boy, oh boy, does it take forever. I think it's time for me to share some of my findings that I've uh, personally experienced during my testing of this thing, because the delay is a huge part of it, but there's more things that I think you should know. So here's my six uh, key takeaways from this whole thing. Number one, the functionality is generally super, super cool. I can't fault it. It can do some spectacular things. I've managed to do Airtable stuff, like even setting up automations. I have managed to take GitHub repos, uh, like services and turn them into my private sort of apps and it did it flawlessly. In fact, I would say that coding oriented things like using GitHub and all of that, it's much faster faster than with tasks like this. Tip number two, obviously the process is very slow, but in some cases, like I said, with GitHub, it's much quicker. So do check out your use cases. One other thing that I wanted to test out was whether or not you can create like interfaces within a loco. I think it will still be very slow, but with coding stuff, it's actually quite fast. Tip number three is that I noticed that it's constantly asking for my input, especially within Airtable. Confirm this, confirm that. It's unsure whether or not it should make this decision or that decision. And especially if you just click out, I honestly feel like OpenAI is trying to manage resources because this process must be super resource intense for them. Constantly looking for ways to pause the process. If you need stuff to happen, you kind of have to pay attention to it. Now, tip number four is the fact that you can't run this via API. And this is a cousin to tip number three. I don't think API access to agent mode is coming anytime soon. And I don't honestly think that it's even doable because because there's things like you have to log in to places, you have to confirm things and access via API. It would be awesome if we can trigger all of this via API so that you can like start a process and just wait. But I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. I wish it did, but I don't think it will. The final tip is log out of your sessions because it won't log out for you, which is crazy, I think. I'm gonna take over and I'm gonna log out out of the session. It won't do it for me. I don't want OpenAI to have a session open with my credentials. The nice thing is that you can basically use it as a browser and it works really well. It does allow you for like secure access. It won't log in on its own into anything essentially, unless you're already logged in. The future seems bright. I feel like in the next couple of years, this is going to be a genuine, useful tool, maybe even for us. So far, really excited. Hope it was quicker. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. I really want to see what you think about this particular application of um, ancient mode from OpenAI. So yeah, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.